and violence and other kind of violence. A road rage shooting caught on camera. The family of the 25-year-old who was shot in that video is speaking exclusively to Channel 2 Action News. We're learning the victim is Jason Daxon, a father and a fiance. It happened in Ackworth at the intersection of Highway 92 and Woodstock Road. Channel 2's Ashley Lincoln tells us the family thinks there's more than just road rage behind that shooting. The victim's family tells us that they don't feel that it's just road rage, but also that the shooting was racially motivated. His fiance telling us this evening that she just doesn't understand how someone can get so angry that they will fire their weapon through their own driver's side window. The first thing I can think of is just a senseless, racist act of violence. Angelina Peterson says this video that's circulating on Facebook is difficult to look at. And the man just shot through his own window into Jason's car 14 times. He tried to kill him. He tried to kill him. She says it's a video of her fiance, Jason Daxon, getting shot multiple times by an irate driver in Ackworth during what police are calling a road rage incident. It's not like he was doing anything to antagonize this man. He was just simply trying to pass him on the road. Um, and the man would not let him. But Peterson feels the shooting was racially motivated. I truly do believe that it is a racism act of violence. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button like the video hell share the video and make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets i'm jen quavius jackson here live reporting from atlanta georgia bgzm news 17. peterson says her fiance and father to their 11 month old was nearly home from the gym three minutes when pulling up to a red light here on Highway 92 and Woodstock Road, Cherokee County Sheriff's deputies say this man, 61-year-old Wade McEwen, pulled up next to Daxon, firing at least 14 rounds of gunfire into his car. Oh, oh my God. What is it? Oh my Witnesses capturing McEwen's actions on cell phone video, showing Daxon driving quickly away. It's just hard to see my loved one and know that my child's father, he has no idea what's going on. Peterson says this incident has caused their life to come to a complete standstill. Since the shooting, her husband has undergone several surgeries. Our whole world is turned upside down. She says this week, Daxon, who's a Grammy-nominated songwriter, was planning to start the next step in his career after getting signed to a major record label here in Atlanta. He was supposed to have his photo shoots, his um, interviews, his everything you could think of, and it just stopped instantly. McEwen was arrested and charged with aggravated assault, reckless conduct, and reckless driving. Peterson says they've created a GoFundMe page to help with medical expenses and child care needs. As doctors say, it'll take months before Daxon is fully recovered. I don't even know what to say about the road rage. It's just, it's absolutely unacceptable. It's ridiculous. Um, Jason did do nothing wrong. And we did find out from investigators that Daxon was able to drive a safe distance away. His fiance telling us he was shot in the back and the arm. Again, a long road ahead of him when it comes to his recovery process. In Ackworth, Ashley Lincoln, WSB Tonight.